we can't talk about your work in voice acting without talking about the legendary Wally Burr. Yes. When did you first meet Wally, and how did you become involved in his inner circle? Uh, I met Wally. Uh, he was directing some shows for Hasbro. This is before Transformers. And I used to go in and audition for him, and a lot of times I wasn't cast in the part. But then a little show came along called um, Gem and the Holograms. And so I went in and auditioned for it, and I got the part of two parts, Lindsay Pierce and Stormer, one of the misfits. And so that kind of got me into his world, and then that's when he brought me in to audition for RC. Um, I may be doing the, the cart before the horse, but that's how. And, and then he, he and I just got along so well, and, and I really just loved Wally, and that um, I worked for him for many, many years. You were really the most regular recurring female member of the cast, and Wall the stories of Wally's uh, directing style is legendary. And I'm just wondering whether or not uh, how he handled you in the studio, well, and how did that influence your take on directing? Well, you know, I from Wally I learned what to do and I learned what not to do. <laughs> You know, I kind of, stu I, I kind of uh, took magic and things from every, all the directors that I had worked with, and I knew what I didn't want to be, and I knew what I wanted to be. And uh, with Wally, uh, you know, we hadn't formed an animation voiceover union yet, and during Wally Burst sessions, because they could last up to eight hours, 12 hours, take after take after take after take. You know, he was a perfectionist, um, and all the power to him. But what happened was, because of some of those sessions, uh, I truly believe this, there became a four-hour session, so that we would do a 22-minute, half-hour show in uh, four hours. And so that would limit the time of how many takes per line, you know, for all the actors. But I think um, uh, I loved Wally. He was, he was wonderful. 